You know, more than 150,000 people die every day. And some of these people got hit by cars, others fell off a cliff, others may have had a heart attack, and others may have simply passed away from natural causes. Death is one of those things that every single living thing on Earth has in common, and death does not discriminate against your skin color or your political beliefs or where you were born or how much money you have. And even though we all logically aware of this, very few of us have really comprehend this thoroughly. Have you ever truly imagined what your funeral would look like? And who would even be at your funeral? Who would be there because of obligation or politeness? And who actually wanted to be there? What would they say about you? You know, in 120 years from now, we all will be dead, and a new generation will be alive. And this is the life cycle. It's repetitive forever. And when you start thinking about this, you realize how short our time on Earth really is. We all are on this journey together, and it also makes you wonder the way most human beings interact with each other. Like, why do human beings act like this? Why do people hurt each other? Why do so many wives and husbands fight all the time? It is because we really have not thought about what the real meaning of life is. Maybe sometimes our human brain cannot fully logically understand. Like we are trying to explain consciousness to a dog or any animals, they just cannot understand it. And I think the first step to actually comprehend a topic like the true meaning of life is to first connect ourselves with the four truths of the universe. The first one is the truth of cause and effect, which means everything you do or say could affect the world around you and yourself. For instance, few years ago you got really mad at your husband or wife or a family member or a friend, it will have a remaining effect on that person until now. You know, it could be concealed deeply in their subconscious that is not necessarily visible on the outer. But the effect is always there and nothing you can do to revoke that. Therefore, it instantly makes them responsible for the things they have done, and most human beings hate taking responsibility. Now, to be clear... I'm not mentioned that we should feel sorry for ourselves in the past, but it means that we should be more conscious of the things we say or do in this world. And if you feel like you behaved in a wrong way, you can always apologize to that person because it is never too late to say sorry. The second truth of the universe is the rule of impermanence, which means that everything on earth is temporary. Like our physical bodies, our intelligence, our relationships. Therefore, what you should do is really appreciate every single moment that you have at the moment. They don't have to be the special ones, like one time that you laughed so hard, or maybe when you simply were sitting alone and just gazing at the moon in the silent night. Because all we really possess in this lifetime is the current moment. And the third truth is the rule of suffering and bonding. Any time when we become bonded to something or someone, basically you are composing an unhappy contract with yourself, because like mentioned before, nothing on earth is permanent, which means you will finally lose that in any way. And the final truth is that our death is going to come one day. Indeed, the death truth is typically the hardest one for most people to acquire because it usually makes people really upset. However, without death, everything would eventually become dull. And there would be no motivation to really appreciate the moments that we have with one another. And on top of that, death is one of the important things that truly connects all of us. So make every moment meaningful. Love excessively, laugh deeply, because at the end of the day, all we really own in life is the current moment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.